Beyond the Law, Emmett's Life After the Fall of Dalton's. It was an unforgettable mark in history when the notorious Dalton gang met their demise during a failed robbery in Coffeyville, Kansas. Despite receiving 23 gunshot wounds, one had survived. Emmett Dalton lived to tell the tale. Well, did he live a better life? We'll see that at the end of this video. But first, here's where it all started. As the youngest of his siblings, Emmett always looked up to his older brother Bob as his role model. Their family was rather well off, as they owned some properties in Belton, Missouri, until they moved to Indiana. There, the Dalton brothers became deputies and marshals and were generally considered good men. Yet good things were fated to end. So when their brother Frank was killed, Bob and Grat were appointed to replace him. However, they soon faced exploitation and discrimination during their service, which later led them into a life of crime. Eventually, they were caught up in a series of train robberies until a huge bounty was placed on their heads for their capture, either dead or alive. Then the time came when they wanted to beat the James Younger Gang's record of robbing two banks at once. Emmett and his siblings almost succeeded, just before being ambushed by the townspeople who opened fire, leaving four of them dead. Emmett had the chance to escape, but upon seeing his brother Bob injured, he turned back to help him. But instead of getting Bob saved, he got 23 gunshot wounds instead. Emmett miraculously survived and lived to tell the tale, but he was arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment in Lansing. So what happened next? After the fall of his brothers in Coffeyville, what was Emmett's life like? The owner of the store that Emmett and his brothers often visited recalled and said, Emmett was a fine boy, and he would have never gotten into trouble if it had not been for his older brothers. Although it was still quite vivid to his memories when the lifeless body of a tall young man with prominent features like him was carried before him for identification. Tears welled up in his eyes, and with a quivering voice, Emmett said, He's my brother Bob Dalton. And eventually, Emmett crumbled down after another corpse was lifted and brought into him. That body was of his brother Grat. While inside the stone walls of state prison, Emmett made up his mind that he had no intentions of staying here for the rest of his life. So later on, he was paroled after serving 14 years as a model citizen inside. During that time, he deeply expressed and wished for his brother Bill to stop his outlaw life. But after he was released, the sad news reaches him that Bill was killed on a posse. Since then, he was the only one left of the Dalton gang, with nothing more to confine him aside from his regrets. Emmett began to move on. Emmett had only hoped that he could enjoy more of this life along with his fallen brothers, but he could no longer. So instead, he cared for his widowed mother and, and finally started a family of his own. His wild aspirations that once he shared with his brothers as the Dalton Gang, he remembered them as he wrote books out of their foolish and daring adventures. You have just discovered the life story of the last of the Dalton Gang, Emmett. So click this and discover another true-to-life story about Robert McGee.